spend 70,000 points or 131,000 points for the same exact hotel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a strategy on how you can book hotels for fewer points. If you don't already know, my name is Max and I help people maximize their hotel points, airline miles, and credit card points so they can travel more, travel better, and travel for less. If you like content like this, remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below and let's get into it. The key thing when it comes to redeeming hotel points, airline miles, or credit card points is flexibility. And the more flexible you are, the more options you'll have to redeem your miles and points for maximum value. What I like to use is the award calendar for each hotel program. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can use the hotel calendar for each of the four major hotel programs. So first up, let's start with Marriott. When you're on the Marriott website, input your cities and dates. Even if you're staying for multiple nights, just select one night for now. And let's go ahead and pick a random date in September and click on my dates are flexible. And let's go ahead and click on news points slash certificates and click on find hotels. And then it will give you a list of all the hotels in the San Diego area. Let's go ahead and click on view rates for the US grant. All right, and so this gives us the award calendar and this is exactly what we're looking for. It's the award calendar that tells us which nights require the fewest amount of points and which nights require a lot more points. And so this can be the difference between a 40,000 point night or a 60,000 point night. Going back to the key point of being flexible, if you stay on the Sunday the 11th, it's 40,000 points. If you stay the following Sunday, it's 60,000 points. It's a lot more points. And this is just showing for one night. The reason why we wanna just select one night, because it tells us exactly how many points it's gonna cost for each specific night. So it's easier to make the decision and pick and choose which nights require the fewest amount of points. So that's for Marriott. Let's jump over to the Hilton program and see what their flexible calendar looks like. So here on the Hilton website, I'm gonna put in San Diego again. And let's go ahead and pick the 14 to the 15. Again, picking an individual night as well. And under special rates here, I'm gonna click on use points. Oh, I missed this. You have to click on my dates are flexible. Hit close and hit click on find a hotel. Very similar to Marriott, it gives you a whole list of hotels in the San Diego area. Let's click on the one here in downtown San Diego. And it gives us the available dates for one night and how many points it costs per night. And as you can see here, if you check on, on this Wednesday, it's 70,000 points. If you check in on the following Wednesday, it's 131,000 Hilton points. Almost double the amount of points. And again, the value of this calendar is that the more flexible we are, if you can move your travel to the following week, you can save a ton of points. So that's Hilton, let's move on to IHG. So I'm here on the IHG page and I'm gonna go ahead and put in San Diego and put in the 14th to the 15th. Again, just staying with one night and then this drop down and click on reward nights and hit search. All right, you see the list of hotels and it'll tell you how many points it costs for that specific night. The tricky thing with IHG is that their award calendar is hidden. But there's an extra step you have to do and it takes some trial and error to go find the award calendar. So let me show you. You actually have to pick a date that doesn't have any award availability. For example, like this room down here at the Holiday Inn San Diego SeaWorld does not have any rooms available. And that's where it gives you this link here that says view available dates. And when you see this, that means you can click on it and it will give you the award calendar. Really strange. And so same thing with here, like this Holiday Inn Express here in La Jolla. You have to click on view available dates and then it will give you the award calendar. So your goal is to search for no points or award availability in order to get access to the award calendar. A little tricky when it comes to IHG. All right, moving on to Hyatt. So I'm here on the Hyatt page and let's go ahead and put in uh, San Diego again. And let's go pick a random date in September and use points and hit find hotels. This will give us the results here. Go ahead and click on view rates. And by clicking on view rates, you get this access to this points calendar here. Click on points calendar. This will give you the points calendar that will tell you off peak dates, standard and peak dates. But the tricky thing with Hyatt's award calendar is that it doesn't show you award availability. This doesn't signify award availability. And so you would have to pick your dates and then click on check availability down here. And then that runs a search to see if there's award availability or points availability for your hotel stay. So that's how you access and use hotel award calendars to pick and choose which dates require the fewest amount of points so that you can maximize your hotel points 
and if you're flexible on the dates of travel, then you can really save a lot of points for your hotel stay. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you like miles and points content like this, remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram. And I also have a weekly newsletter where I send out miles and points tips. And I also include exclusive unlisted YouTube videos in my newsletter as well. Links for all that are down in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one.